Well, now we've got a by-election and a general election. The former on the 4th of May, the latter on the 8th of June. Or do we? There seems to be a state of utter confusion in Manchester Town Hall and, indeed, at 10 Downing Street. The Prime Minister's spokesman said that the by-election would go ahead as planned. But they've also said that Parliament will be dissolved on the 3rd of May. And as the election is on the 4th of May, I would be being elected to a Parliament that no longer existed. If that were so, it seems a bit unfair. I'd have to do it all again four weeks later uh, for the 8th of June. And not just me. I'm financially much more hard-pressed than the big parties are, obviously. And that goes for the Greens and other independent candidates. It seems very disadvantageous to us and therefore democracy uh, for us to have to fight two elections. So we either go ahead with the one on the 4th and call that the early general election in Manchester Gorton, or we're forced to fight twice. Of course, we'll deal with whatever comes our way, and I hope that people will now weigh in financially to help us do that if that's what we have to do. But it all smacks a bit of dollar democracy rather than democracy itself. So what I'm saying to the authorities is, let's go ahead with the 4th of May and count that as the uh, election uh, that is going to take place elsewhere in the country on the 8th of June. After all, I wouldn't be able to take my seat if I won on the 4th of May because Parliament would no longer exist. It would have been dissolved. It's all a constitutional conundrum, I understand. And in fact, I think it's entirely unprecedented. But I hope that wisdom and democracy will be the watchword in whoever is making this decision. Although whoever is making it, they haven't spoken up yet.